Some people say I eat too many uh, chocolate bars or I don't wash my face. My brother says I grow out of it, but I don't think so. <laughs> Shout out my 90s babies. If you know it, throw it in the comments. You gotta know it. It's an instant cl classic <laughs> commercial. Oh, I can't believe that was even a real thing. Acne, what a bitch when you're a teen. All right, yo, welcome to today's video. Different one for you today. Uh, what I'm excited for, for sure, I don't usually eat anything sweet on this channel um, too often. Every once in a while, I think I've had a couple of little dessert bites here and there. Uh, I'm just not known to be really a chocolatey, sweetsy guy, so this video might be uh, become a little challenging at some point for me in terms of my palate because I can only eat so many bites of sweet until my palate's like, nah, bruh, switch to the potato chips, you know what I mean? So. Uh, in front of us though, before you and before myself, we have an alignment of pretty much all my favorite chocolate bars ever. Now I'm the type of guy who, you know, if I'm every so often just grocery shop and I'll, I'll snag one from the shelf and maybe have it like on the way home or something like that or save it for after a meal, but I don't keep sweets like that. Anyways, I was in the dollar store and they had all these bars for a buck each. And I was like, may as well just grab them uh, the ones that are here that i love the most and to be honest in their selection is pretty much all my favorite bars i don't think that we're even missing one um so i'm going to go through them one by one and then there's two in this lineup that are going to be wild cards that i'll save for the end just because there's such weird anomalies uh in a sense that i want to know your opinion because there's people who are like uber fans and there's people who are like ultra haters of these two bars so let's go ahead and get right into it okay okay starting with my very most favorite Kit Kat, but chunky, okay? Now, I also have a Kit Kat regular. They're both amazing bars. Now, you might be thinking, wow, Kit Kat, that's your choice out of all these with the crazy other things? I don't know, there's just something about the simplicity of a Kit Kat. The milk chocolate and the wafer crumble. Now. Back in the day, this was obviously my favorite because that's all there was, but then they invented the Chunky. And the Chunky is like, it's just different. It bites different. It hits different on, in the mouthfeel. Texturally, because the sides mm -hmm, of the bar on the wafer have a little thicker extra chocolate so I don't know I like that it lends a nice extra milk chocolatey type bite now with the classic break me off a piece of that cake can't bar you got the thinner junior version of the big boy see I don't know. The chocolate ratio is different. It hits differently. Still, a very good bar in both cases. Maybe an odd choice for a favorite, but I do know Kit Kats are pretty popular. Um, I just love the simplicity of it. Chocolate bars, by their very nature, are simple now. I messed up, I kind of cracked this one too early because I forgot about the Kit Kats, but Crispy Crunch is next up in my amazing bar realm. My dad used to always have this. This was, I think, my dad's favorite, I would say, back in the day. Once again, it's like a thin milk chocolate. Now, what's the magic about a Crispy Crunch is the Crispy Crunch. Oh my God. See, now, what's crazy is this is technically a more flavorful bar than the Kit Kat. But the Kit Kat is more, it's more pedestrian, like it's more everyday, it's more of your everyday bar. This one has this like chocolate and then a ring of like I want to say like caramel down sugar and then like this shale. So you get the snap of the, of the, of the crispy. And then once you get to that shale, that's like where the crunch comes in and you can hear it.
But wow. Texturally amazing. And I'm such a sucker for like caramel down, just like caramely down, like toffee type flavors. Next up, score, baby. Now, score is a great bar. My favorite version of a score is in ice cream, vanilla ice cream, score blizzard from Dairy Queen more specifically. Once again, along the same tracks, oh, there's a little thread there, along the same tracks as a crispy crunch, thin milk chocolate exterior, but here's where it differs. The inside is like this more firm, Coffee. And if you don't be careful, this thing will get you. Like if it's cold, if it's not room temp or warm, the resistance on that toffee is um, an enamel's worst nightwear, nightmare. But such a good bar. And also, you can do this trick where you scrape the chocolate delicately with your teeth. Pull it, expose it, and if back in the day you did that from the very start of the bar and you exposed all the chocolate down to its very nature of that middle piece, then you, my friend, RG. All right, next up, another Cadbury. That's something I want to know at the end of this. How many Nestle's, how many Cadbury's? And I'm a sucker for Cadbury, I'm not gonna lie. I think Cadbury across the board makes a better chocolate bar or more more better chocolate bars. But a Mr. Big. Substantial in like size, like length and things. That's why I call it Mr. Big, I would imagine. But it's light. It doesn't, it has it doesn't have density. So it has this profile, a little more like height, and these like, these, uh, you know, things, which are basically puffed rice. And I love it because it's just so cool texturally. It has like this wafer in the middle and then the puffed rice. And then it also has this like caramel that drags out. I don't know if you see that. See, got a hanger. God damn, these cameras. But yeah. It's light, airy, crispy, gooey. A top bar, definitely a top bar. Another one. Cadbury again. I feel like this is probably a bunch of people's favorites. Wonder Bar. I want to say reminiscent of a Butterfinger. As per usual, chocolate bar looking, a little bit of height. Bite it though. It's got so much like caramely, like gooey resistance. And some sort of a crunch in there. A little peanut butter flavor. The only thing about a Butterfinger is I think it's a hybrid of a Wonder Bar and a Krispy Crunch because the Butterfinger has that like shale in it. But well, we don't have Butterfingers in Canada, I don't think. At least we're, where I'm at. Butterfinger has always been, in my estimation, an American chocolate bar, from what I know. But Wonder Bar is an amazing bar. Now, that's, that said though, the, these top bars are all champions fighting for a spot. Now, on this end of things, this is where we come into like 
every once in a while craves you need to hit that crave like a couple times a year uh kind of take it or leave it bars but also great in at the same time those first bunch were definitely like my top fucking rivals though so next up coffee crisp now i don't even like coffee as a person in terms of drinking coffee but the flavor uh profile that it lends to this bar is to be appreciated square bar light bar with a wafer snap pretty much predominantly just wafer in there with this like <clears throat> very mocha cappuccino French vanilla type coffee flavor. Like, don't be thinking black coffee. It's like a flavored, posh coffee. Great bar. Really like it. I can't believe I put it over the Mars. Probably didn't mean to do that. Mars is, what is this made by? Is it Nestle or? I don't know. It doesn't blatantly say Mars Canada Inc. So Mars is like alone, I guess. Mars is its own thing. Now the age old debate and Mars or Snickers, Mars or Snickers. I don't like peanut laden anything. I don't really like chunks of, of nuts in any of my chocolate bars. So I was always a Mars guy at Halloween. I loved getting the, min the little mini Mars. But then once again, milk chocolate with the best milk feel. So soft. And so nougaty, nougat and caramel. Right? Kind of like a Three Musketeers, but better in my opinion. I'm wondering how many chocolate bars these bites add up to at the end. Great bar. I love Mars. And I also need a palate break. Like I said, sweets, my palate's already like just begging for salt. That's why I can't do dessert videos, like bona fide full ass dessert videos. I don't know how like people like Megan McCollum and that she does like full on dessert videos and crushes and I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. I'm just, I'm not built that way. Okay. Now I'm conflicted. I'm like, is this a chocolate bar? I don't know. Do, do, do peanuts, Smarties or M&M's peanuts, do M&M's and Smarties belong in their own class? And it's like, I think they do. And I would love to know down below. Because as long as, as much as they are, included in a chocolate bar scenario they're on that same shelf and rack i don't know m m's peanuts seem to be in my estimation kind of their own thing what they really are is let's be honest they're for the movies you get m m's peanuts when you go to theater it's just what you do so obviously we got the different colors Pop it in, nice crunch, nice shell. Now I know I just said I don't like peanut laden things. This is different. This is an individual crunch peanut with chocolate. It's just different. Even better when you get extra buttered popcorn, right? At the movie theater. And you pour a sack of these into the popcorn and you get a, a bite of chocolate, peanut, popcorn, butter in your mouth. It is fucking magical, to say the least. And to say more on that actually is that Smarties, you know what I mean? Just come on, get out of here. 
We do not need Smarties. Nobody needs a Smartie in their life. M&Ms all day. <clears throat> Next up, maybe uh, off the beaten path for some of you, but I've told you guys this in a story of mine uh, relative to Christmas. Told their own. I got introduced to uh, in my stocking at a certain point in my life, and uh, it was kind of life changing. Product of Switzerland, but Swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond nougat. So it comes in Illuminati form. The seeing eye of Horus, and you snap it off in its individual chunks is how it's supposed to be enjoyed. And you see right in there, those are the almond nougat things. But they have this, this crunch, like an almond wood, but it also has this nougaty resistance. Like this mouthfeel, like a, I don't know how to explain it. It crunches, but then it like compacts and it like, it almost like gets stuck in your teeth. It doesn't shatter like a, like a nut. It compacts. Milk chocolate. Beautiful bar. Next up. Cadbury again. Very controversial bar in my opinion. Some people love it, some people hate it. I personally am on the fence. I don't love it, I don't hate it. I would never choose it. But if I was in a jam and was jonesing for a sweet and I found my little brother's leftover candy from Halloween and all that's left for chocolate bars was this. I'll fucking eat it, you know? And here's why it's so controversial, is the texture of it is insane. Because it's like this styrofoam, honeycomb, foam mattress, foam pillow, golden, burnt sugary tasting weird snap of a bar and once again like with the score bar you could in theory suck this down to its base form or slowly operate it on it with your teeth and kind of i'm out of practice but you could eventually expose the interior as its naked true self and then crush that. So if you were one of those kids that had that time and commitment to do that back in the day, once again, you're a G. Shout out to you. Another palate cleanser. Okay. Now we move into a little territory of just chocolate appreciation. I do select these bars from time to time when I want something just completely simple. We all know it. We've all had the fancy bars, right? We've all had the ones with all the crazy mouthfeel, but sometimes all you want is a simple piece of milk chocolate. That's it. And you want to snap it off. And for me, I'm the type of guy who, when I eat these bars, Say if I have like a nice savory meal, I want a simple dessert. I get a Jersey milk or a dairy milk, and that's the that's the battle here. I'm just gonna go head to head. I don't know which one is better. I love both really, but I'll, I'll tell you right now. And what I do is pop it in. I'll just suck it. I'll just let it melt until it's like very small, and then just like kind of chew it off and crush it back. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna chew it right now. You guys don't want to see me sit, me, see, see me sit here and suck on this chocolate. Chocolate. Subscribe to my OnlyFans for that. Okay. <clears throat> Good milk chocolate bar. Cadbury. 
dairy milk. Same difference, different shape bar, different company. Whose milk chocolate reigns supreme? I personally think it's gonna be Cadbury because I love Cadbury's chocolate. So, different shape obviously. I don't think the shape would really matter about how it tastes. Mm, I can already, already tell you, immediately, as soon as I bit into it, mm -hmm. Cadbury is better. It's more creamy, more milky, it's just more amazing. Okay. The wild card bars. These are two strange bars. Eat more and Big Turk. Now you either love them or you hate them. Real shit. And I gotta know about my Eat Mores and my Big Turks down below. Please, I wanna see a battle. So Eat More, when this was released, I don't know, I couldn't really wrap my head around it. Now this one melted and got kinda weird. It's supposed to be longer, but it's this nutty, super like molasses bendy weird almost like fudge tootsie roll hybrid thing and it pulls and tears and chews like crazy it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a protein bar like a power bar or something like that. To me, it's very take it or leave it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'll eat it. But I, once again, I wouldn't really select it. So to all my eat mores out there, let me know if you're a fan. Now, I feel like this is one of the most controversial fucking bars. <laughs> and it's because... It's almost like a bounty too, the coconut, those coconut ones. That's a that controversial bar too. Some people live for the Big Turk. Some people live for the coconut bounty bar. I feel like a lot of people are thrown off by it. And here's why. Because it's a chocolate bar segmented off that has red jujube -jube in it. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah. Like a, it's almost like a raspberry. Jube jube. This gelatin. I gotta, I gotta eat it out a little bit here. <laughs> I just gotta lick off the chocolate to, expo to expose. To really get to the heart of the matter. Yeah. So it's like this red jube jube. Raspberry is the flavor I'm getting. With chocolate on the exterior. Now here's the thing. I don't like fruit mixed with chocolate really. It's not my jam. I do like jujubes -juice though. So it's not too offensive. It's pretty good. Like I don't mind it, but I'm not gonna be one of these people like going to bat for the Big Turk. But if you love it, you go right ahead, my friend, and eat that. Uh, I'm going to just, once again, last bar in the Halloween bag, I'd eat it. But you would never find a Big, tar big Turk in your younger brother's Halloween bag because people don't give them out for Halloween. It's just not a bar that gets... It's a bar that you specifically drive to the store and pick because you love it. You'll never find it in some random, arbitrary situation. So... That concludes uh, my favorite chocolate bar adventure. I'd love to hear all about your uh, ideas, thoughts, opinions, and preferences down below. And until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.